Last break at work. Yes. It's getting light outside. Not as much fun when the sun comes up. It leaves me wide awake and ready to go to job number two. One good thing about the breaks, the timing of my breaks at work, is there's always something happening to distract me. And what's happening right now is the Wall Street Journal morning report. They were, they just went to break, and I'll miss this story, asking the question, how do you know if your plane is flying over a war zone? Well, I have to ask the question, are you flying into Detroit? Out of Detroit? Into Chicago? Out of Chicago? What about LAX? Uh, they're pretty much war zones. Otherwise, you look out the way, you got a window seat and you look outside and you see tracers going by, that's a good hint too. However, that's really not as relevant as what I wanted to talk about. They were talking about the botched execution in Arizona. If you want to call it botched. All because the gentleman, if you can call him a gentleman, gasped 200 times and 600 times in two hours, whatever the hell it was. Um, I don't care. I don't care if he suffered. I don't care if he didn't suffer. Somebody is convicted of a crime so heinous that it is decided that it's fully justified to use the death penalty as a form of punishment. And then when they finally reach the death penalty, I don't care if they suffer. Did anyone ask if the Nazis after the Nuremberg trials suffered? Did they wait 10, 20, 30 years before being executed? No. That was carried out relatively quickly. Were any innocent Nazis executed? Innocent Nazi. That's like saying intelligent liberal. Just doesn't make any sense. Were any innocent Nazis executed? I really don't know. I really don't care. All of those high-profile Nazis that were executed most likely deserved to be executed for some damn thing anyways. Could someone who was a career criminal and sentenced to death possibly be innocent of the crime for which they are being sentenced? Maybe. I don't care. Because if they're a career criminal, that means they probably did something during their life that they probably deserve to be executed anyways. Now, as for the suffering, cruel and unusual punishment. What's cruel and unusual? I don't care. Once they've been sentenced to die, I don't care. My biggest concern, though, is the European Union. What the hell are you talking about, 101? Yes, the European Union. Because of the European Union saying they didn't want the drugs manufactured within their borders to be used for executions, they pass laws preventing their pharmaceutical companies from doing so. So you know what? If we can't use their drugs the way we choose, then I say we ought to ban the importing of them from the European Union. Say, mm -hmm. don't you be telling us shit, Europe. You'd be under that fucking swastika right now if it wasn't for the United States. Don't you dare hold a moral judgment to us. 
You just had ethnic cleansing 20 fucking years ago. And you're going to stand in judgment of us because we execute people that have committed some of the most heinous crimes? Don't even play that game with us because you do not deserve any higher moral ground. You're going to become nothing more than a bunch of socialist scumbags. Every once in a while I lose control. And it's when little people, little insignificant people, try to turn around and tell others what to do. That's when I lose control. So yes, we should ban the import of these drugs from the European Union if they're going to tell us that we can't use it to execute criminals. And maybe we should move away from lethal injection. In fact, let's go very primitive style. I got a pistol. If any state wants to hire me to put a bullet in the head of their criminals, I'll be more than happy to travel to state to state with my pistol and my own bullets and use them to execute your criminals, provided the compensation is appropriate. However, they will suffer because I will give them what I call five bullets of justice. Especially for those that committed some of the worst crimes, like that asshole in Ohio that people said suffered last year maybe it was earlier this year people like him killed raped and killed a pregnant woman tortured her for six to eight hours they estimated I would not just put a bullet single bullet in the back of his head no I would have him tied to the ground Spread eagle, look staring at me. And then I would go elbow, elbow, kneecap, kneecap, stomach. And I would sit there and watch him suffer and scream as he's begging to finally be put out of his misery. And then after he passes out, or I get a headache from the screaming. Then, and only then, would I put a bullet in his head to finish him off. Because there are some people that deserve to suffer. That deserve an appropriate form of justice as the crime. I don't claim any higher moral ground than anyone else. I grew up in the liberal utopia. I am a product of what liberals want to push on the entire United States and what all those different liberals and progressives across the world want to push on the entire planet. I am that creation. So no, I don't have any higher moral ground. I'm going to have to look at this and think about it for a few days. Before I actually decide whether or not to post it. I may have went too far this time. Thank you much. If it does get posted, much love to all of you.